This time around on Author's Corner, Tammy McBride joins us. Her book is called The Word Works If You Work It. Makes sense. From Poverty to Promise. And oh, what a story she has to tell. She knows it. She lived it. And uh, she's she's really lived an interesting life and has practiced what she preaches, so to speak. Tammy, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me, Kate. I really appreciate it. What led to this book? Why did you decide, I'm going to write this? Oh, wow. Um, well, I, uh, I've always, you know, how a lot of people say, grew up in a church and this. And I did. I had a um, background, Christian background. And um, went on in life. I went into the military and didn't have as strong a faith with God as I do now. But uh, as the years passed and I grew older and mature spiritually, um, started recognizing the blessings God was bringing in my life and uh, um, ended up at a church that I currently attend now where um, my pastor over the ministry I served in would have us come in with a scripture with a testimony each Sunday as to what God did for us. And there were Sundays that when I went in with my testimony, um, those testimonies started to grow. And uh, I was reading books on spiritual growth as well because I was I wanted to grow my faith in God. And um, um, 2021, the end of 2021, I just saw how God had blessed me and my finances because that was my struggle and um, decided to believe him for a consolidation of my debt because I got tired of paying individual debts and believed him for a large amount because I gathered up all my debt and tallied it up and came up with a a, um, total of $35,000. So I started believing God to um, bless me financially to pay these bills off and have one bill by the end of 2021, December. And I started believing him for that in October, 2021. And uh, on the 9th of December, it came to pass. And so that having happened is when I said, okay, it's time to write a book based on all the other testimonies that I had given and had spoken of in my ministry. And so that's what brought about doing the book about my um, faith walk with God and my finances and sharing those testimonies with others so that they could read the book and be encouraged and inspired to also believe God for their situation. Yeah. And that story is so powerful because you say it, you talk about that you were absolutely going deeper into financial bottom, but that in, and in 2019, you, you just started to, to meditate on, on two scriptures and that that really activated your faith and you took God at your word, like you say, and it worked. And there was so much that was happening because you had to resign from a job. You felt like the stress was killing you. You got diagnosed with breast cancer. I mean, you were really going through a lot. Yeah, yeah. You know, I uh, it's interesting because my bishop always says if God told us what we'd have to go through when we came to earth, we'd be like, ah, hard pass. So, so, um, <laughs> you know, um, I as I grew in my faith walk with God and understanding, studying his word. Yes. In uh, 2019, January, I got tired of of uh, struggling, trying to fix those bills. And um, that was my New Year's resolution, January 2019. I was like, okay, God, your word says in Isaiah 55, 11, it will not return to you void. It's going to do what you sent it to do. So I said, okay, I'm going to take you at your word. And uh, I had this book that I had been reading that had scriptures in it for financial financial blessings. And um, I, I learned those scriptures to heart. It was about 20 of them in that little book. And um, I learned them to heart so that I spoke them every day. And uh, if I was driving to work at that time, I was still working. I would speak those scriptures because it took me about 30 minutes to get to work. It took me about 11 minutes to say the scriptures. I would speak them in the car going to work and I would speak them coming from work. So that's twice a day that I spoke those scriptures because I knew that um, the scripture says death and life is in the power of our tongue. So I had to speak it so it could come out of my mouth. There's also scriptures that says God's angels hearken unto the voice of his word. So I learned through studying and reading other books by um, pastors that uh, even the Bible, that the angels 
are waiting to hear God's word come out of our mouths so they can move on our behalf because the scripture says they minister to God's people. And so uh, January 2019 did that, spoke it every day, even though it didn't feel like nothing was changing, even though the enemy was trying to tell me it's not working, I still spoke it. And then the manifestation came July 2019, and I have not been in a financial struggle since 2019. And as the years have gone by, I still speak those scriptures to in 2022, God literally um, bless me so my finances that I no longer work a nine to five. Um, November 2nd of 2022 was my last night working at that job. I wrote the book last year. Uh, it released on the 2nd of August and God retired me from a nine to five on the 2nd of November so that I could promote this book. And um, so this is now what I call my ministry. Um, even when I go to book events and, you know, I can tell somebody really wants the book, but I can also tell they don't have the, the, the means to, to purchase the book. If the Holy Spirit unctures me in the spirit to give it to them, that's what I do. I gift them with it because, uh, again, this is what I consider my ministry. I want people to get this book and know that God has no respect to person. He did it for me. He certainly can do that, do it for them in their situation. Oh, I love that. And, you know, and your book, you talk about, and, and obviously you, you, you've got scripture in there. You talk about what happened and you talk about in the beginning, you talked about the military and boy, that had to shape some of, of what has now become Tammy, uh, you know, 180 degrees because you saw other worlds. I mean, you were in Greece, oh, yeah. you were in Turkey, you were in Germany, you were in Japan for four years. And of course in the United States too, as well. And do you feel like some of that, cause that's, that's you, the whole person poured into, into the book too. Yeah. You know, I, uh, it's interesting Kate, because to be honest with you, when I retired from the military, I knew I was getting ready to retire. So I actually had a very nice nest egg when I retired. But what was interesting was nine times out of 10, when someone retires from the military, they either already have a job, civilian job in line, or they quickly get one thereafter. Well, that didn't happen with me. Um, it took 13 months for me to find a job. So in the meantime, that nest egg that I had saved up after I got out of the military, of course, I had to dip into it because I still had bills to pay. But what I had to understand later on as I went through this experience was that was part of my purpose to get me to write this book. Because had I just retired from the military and everything was um, peachy keen, I had money uh, when I got a job and I was still making income, I would have not been able to give a testimony to have gone through a financial struggle. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So. And I understand I had to go without getting a job for that 13 months to get me to a place where my finances went haywire. So then I could start my faith walk with God in that way. Oh, yeah. And thank you for your service, by the way. So everybody knows, you know, Air Force, you did it for 23 years. Mm -hmm. And when you retired, you were at the rank of senior master sergeant. That was back in 2005. Yeah. And yeah, and you wrap that all into this. When people read your book, what what will they learn? What will they learn about in the pages of the book? What they will learn about in the pages of the book. First of all, the book is dedicated to my 92 year old grandmother and my grandmother passed from Alzheimer's. And a lot of people say that um, people go through Alzheimer's. They get really mean. My grandmother had the sweetest spirit to the day she took her last breath because I looked at her relationship with Jesus as I grew up as a child. And the one scripture I always remember my grandmother saying was Romans 8, 31. If God be for us, who can be against us? And so even as my grandmother uh, laid in that bed, that's where it started for me. Because my grandmother, uh, when she uh, went through her sickness, um, I believe she was having a conversation with God laying in that bed because she had four daughters and four sons and she just lingered for almost 12 days. Her baby girl and baby boy had not come to see her yet, but when they came, she responded and it was amazing in how she responded. And I just believe she laid in that bed having a conversation with God to say, let me hear my two babies voices before I depart this earth. And God did that for her. So what they will understand in my book is I am a deep 
faith believer in God, seeing how he blessed my grandmother with the desires of her heart before she departed this earth, based on how the example my grandmother set for me and all of my family. And then me going through my faith walk, seeing the things that God was doing for me as I went through my valley of financial struggle, they'll see that I didn't give up. I held on to God. I held on to his word and I trusted him to bring me up out of it. I didn't let go. I got the scripture that tells me God set the end before the beginning. There was so much scripture I got because I was like, I am not giving up. I know I have victory in this situation and I'm going to stick to God because I'm coming up out of this. And so prayerfully, when they read my book, their spirit will be stirred up to say, let me connect with God in this way. I know my struggles. I know if he did it for Tammy, he'll do it for me because God said he's not a person. He's no respect of persons. And he even has in his scripture where he says, I am the Lord. Is there anything too hard for me? And so all of that scripture gave me encouragement. It gave me strength. It increased my faith. I walked it out. And now I'm walking in my victory. Oh, perfect place to end this. Pick up this book. The Word Works If You Work It From Poverty to Promise. Tammy McBride. You can get it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, like I said. Uh, what a story. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Kate. I really appreciate it. Visit www.greatwritersmedia.com. Email us at info at greatwritersmedia.com. Call us at 877-600-5469. Subscribe now.